Andrew was returning from a date with his girlfriend when he found Joe Morgan waiting for him outside his house. It was nearly midnight and Joe's wife was about to give birth. Andrew snapped out of his heavy and dark thoughts, took his bag, and walked with Joe to his house. Upon reaching, Joe informed Andrew that he would not go inside the house. Andrew could see that Joe was very much under strain. Andrew was taken to the bedroom which was small in size and poorly lit by an oil lamp. Along with Joe's wife on the bed, her mother and an elderly midwife were present in the room. Mrs. Morgan's mother, an old woman, was wise enough to know the complications of the situation. She knew it was going to be a long night and did not want the doctor to leave at any point of time. So, she offered Andrew some tea. He knew that this case would require his undivided attention and decided to stay at the house until everything was over. Andrew drank the tea downstairs and checked on Mrs. Morgan after an hour. During this long wait, his head was filled with dim thoughts about marriage. He thought of famous personalities like Bramwell and Edward Page who had unpleasant experiences in relationships and marriage. He wanted to think of marriage as an ideal state of bliss. His thoughts were unhappy and while he was brooding over his girlfriend Christine, Mrs. Morgan's mother interrupted him. She informed him that Susan and Mrs. Morgan did not want to be put under anesthetic. Andrew convinced her that it was not harmful at all. The midwife called for Andrew at half past three. He thought he might as well start working on the process of delivery. The labor went on for a long one hour. The child was born at dawn but was still born. Andrew felt a chill of horror run over him. The mother was also in a fragile state. He did not know whom to attend first and let his instincts take over the situation. He gave the child to the nurse and injected medicine into Mrs. Morgan and tried fiercely to revive her flaccid body. Mrs. Morgan regained herself after a few minutes. Andrew wanted to attend to the stillborn child next. The midwife had hidden the baby boy under the bed. Andrew lifted the boy from the newspapers where he was kept. The boy's body was tender and lifeless. His head hung weak and lifeless, and his limbs seemed boneless. Andrew began to analyze the situation and thought of different medical conditions that might lead the child into this condition. His mind instinctively ran back to a case in the Samaritan. He frantically ordered the midwife to bring hot and cold water and basins. He prepared two basins, one with cold water and the other with hot water at a temperature his hands could bear. Then he dipped the baby into the basins alternately. Mrs. Morgan's mother and the midwife were looking at him in utter shock and bewilderment. He remembered how hopeful Mrs. Morgan and her mother were about this baby. There seemed to be no change in the baby's physiological conditions. The midwife begged him to stop, but he did not heed her and went for a last try pressing the boy's little chest to get breath into his limp body. Finally, a miracle happened and the baby came to life. This experience was so stirring that it almost made Andrew faint. The midwife sobbed hysterically while Mrs. Morgan prayed to God silently. Overwhelmed by the strenuous experience, Andrew put on his jacket and went out of the room informing that he would come for his bag later. He drank some water in the scullery and went outside to find Joe sitting with a tense expression. He announced to him that both the child and the mother were all right. As Andrew walked along the street with other minors he could not help thinking that he had done something real at last. Conclusion of Birth Birth Class 11 Summary shows us how medical practitioners use their knowledge and presence of mind to deal with life-threatening emergency situations. Andrew's endeavor to bring back the child, despite being discouraged by the midwife, gives us an idea of how dedication and correct judgment can change outcomes. Andrew was new to his field, but that instinct for saving someone was bigger than his fear of not understanding the situation at hand clearly. The story also reflects the kind of guilt and emotional turmoil doctors go through when they are responsible for saving someone's life. Understanding the deeper meanings involved in a piece of writing is very important to have a good grasp of literature. For more update please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you.